Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and we are back for everyday inspiration. We took a little bit of a break um, for the summer so we could just spend some time with our families or like I did, go crazy and make a layout a day. So <laughs> we are so excited to be back. And this is our inspiration piece. It is up in the right hand corner and that's from Dolly. So perfect summer photo. Um, so my first thought was, of course I need to do a pool picture. <laughs> um, and then I realized I only had one and I didn't wanna do it. So the first thing I am pulling from are the colors of the photo. So the first thing was this paper from Heidi Swap. And then I borrowed a die cutting machine and I cut out this beautiful globe, which is free over um, on Paige Evans Facebook group. So I just uploaded that and then cut it out. And then I did want to pull some of that blue color into the layout because in the picture I have the blue ocean in the background as well. So I am going to start with Pool Me Closer from Shimmers um, and it was starting to dry out so I just added some water and in that process I got it on my hands so since I was just doing the packaging technique I just put my hands on it and then I spilled some on my table <laughs> so I picked that up with my packaging um because I'm not going to waste it it's so beautiful and then the second color I am going to use I'm not actually sure what it is um I ordered it and it says wisteria lane on the top but um, it's crossed out. So I don't think that's what it is. It's a beautiful blue. It's not like anything I have. So um, I don't actually know what color this is. So I really apologize, but it's definitely more like that blue color in the inspiration photo. And I'm just basically doing it behind the cut file. So I didn't I didn't want it all over, I just kind of wanted it peeking out, kind of like when you look at a globe, you have all that blue for all the oceans, um, or at least that was my thought process. So I'm gonna be using this photo. Um, it is a family photo of us um, when we took our excursion off the cruise. We went to La Bufora. I'm not sure that I'm saying that right, but um, it is a natural blowhole down in Ensenada. And so it was really cool. So you can kind of see the, the haze behind um, Christopher and I, um, and that's actually the water coming up behind us. So the cut file didn't cut perfectly. Um, like there were a couple of florals that didn't that didn't cut very well. And so I figured that was the perfect place to put my photo. So you would never even know. So now I'm gonna work on some embellishing. Now this isn't going to need a ton of embellishing because the cut file is so beautiful and um, the photo definitely stands out on it. But I am using my How to Kill a Kit with style for the month of August. And so I'm playing with a bunch of uh, Heidi Swap Color Fresh items. And I think that's mostly where everything is from. So I am going to end up with that tag and that piece that says notes. So that's where my journaling is going to go. I don't have a ton to say because I actually have a few pictures to do of this particular excursion so I'm not so sure what's gonna what's gonna go on there because guess what I still have not journaled on it I know that's so shocking um but so I have that and I like that oh yeah piece um so I am making three clusters 
So you have kind of a visual triangle. The be good and have fun piece on the top is definitely going to stay. But when I added that those two acetate pieces that say um, how dreamy and vibes, I just felt like it was getting too much like super heavy on top of the photo. Um, and, and there was just too much around the photo. It just, it felt super heavy there. Um, and instead of putting twine through my tag or putting an enamel dot or, um, a brad through that tag, I am actually using one of these clips and it fits perfectly through the tag. And I think that it kind of gives it kind of a cool little look to it. So um, that is going to stay there. And I will add another one with some hearts up to the top. I was originally thinking that I was going to do the same thing and put it through that have fun ephemera piece as well. But it's going to make the hearts go in the wrong direction. So I actually will put it over the photo. And I had to put the like the stick part on the top because otherwise it covered up my um, son's hat. Because I did want the circle to actually cover up the hole because that piece is kind of a tag. And then I am going to go ahead and finalize this bottom cluster to the right. I like the saying that says you are one of a kind because um, I believe that there are only five of these blowholes in the world or something like that. So it is pretty rare. I didn't realize, um, you know, they, they do all kinds of education when you um, are on a tour bus for an hour before you get to anything. So that was really cool. It was kind of a cool thing for all of us to learn. Um, and two out of four of us have sunglasses on. So the sunglasses, I feel like work perfect. And the arrow is just fun. So um, definitely head over in the description box below, there will be um, either a link to the actual video for the ladies or there will be a link to their channel. Uh, life happens and sometimes we just don't get, we don't get things up in time and, and that's okay. Like we are totally good with that and we really do have the best subscribers and, and we know you all understand and we are so lucky to have you. We really enjoy doing this series. So it is Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life, Daisy from Daisy Scraps, um, Dolly, oh gosh, I always forget hers, um, Scrapping on the Go, and then we have Jen, who is Kay's mom, and we have Lisa, who is Pink Litter Scrapper, so uh, tons of fun. I am just going to finish this page off with some sequins and these sequins are from Spiegel Mom Scraps and I am just in love with um, all of the August sequins. Like I, I have been using them like crazy. So these ones are called gumdrops and they have so many awesome colors especially with this Heidi Swap Color Fresh collection. Like it is just a perfect match. Like it was made for it. And and maybe it was, I don't know. <laughs> but it it works out perfectly. And the new sequins that she um, is putting out are these like large round ones and they are so awesome. So I did add one of those in pink down to that right bottom cluster. And I thought that was all I was going to do was just kind of scatter it in all three clusters. And then I got to looking at this cut file and I was like, this cut file needs some bling. So what I end up doing is I take random colors. There's, there's no method or madness method to my madness as where these sequins are going as far as color wise. 
But my idea is to put them like in the center of the flowers or some of the floral pieces on here are just little like dots. And then also in this mix, there are little floral sequins. So I thought those would be fun to just scatter around um, in between the cut file pieces. And I just absolutely love how that turns out. And if you're interested in getting your hands on some of these sequins, you can use my code CRYSTAL15 to save 15% on your order. And Daisy is also a sparkler, so you can use her code of Daisy15 as well um, if you would like, because they are beautiful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. We love to hear from you. Um, I'm I'm curious what you think. Like I, I don't usually do much with die cuts um, or uh, cut files. So I hope you like this one. Um, I do know that Christina from Redefine Creative, I think has this cut file as well. And she will cut it for you and send it to you if you don't have a, a cutting machine, um, which is a great option. So here are some close-ups, you can see the shimmers, you can see the, the cut file and um, the sequins. And make sure you check out everybody below. So remember to wear your crown. We'll see you next time. Bye.